What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. We continue here with our 2023 predictions. The Kansas Jayhawks are up next. Let's take a look at some of the other predictions for Kansas. You can see the FPI has them at 4.1 and 7.9, so 4 and 8 is what they're expecting. But remember, the FPI goes by the last three years. They use the last three years in their formula. And Kansas before last year was awful, and they don't recruit at a really high level, so I understand why that number is what it is. Um, it's not going to be accurate, I don't think, but uh, four and eight is what they've got. Athlon has them at seven and five, expecting them to be a little bit better than last year in terms of overall record. And then the over under is at five and a half, and I've also seen that up to six and a half. So I would, if you could get that five and a half, I really feel like this team is at least going to get to six and six this year. Um, six and five, six, six and a half, maybe a little tougher. Um, you, you're, you know, if you go over, you're counting on them going seven and five, which again, I think is very possible, but a little bit more, a little bit riskier. So let's get into, well, before we get to go game by game, I'll give you my thoughts on this team. Um, I think Kansas is going to be really good. I think that this roster is, you know, we look at what they have coming back from last year. This is going to be a really good team. And I'm not just saying a team that, that you know is good for Kansas. I'm talking about. I think they're going to be in the top half of the Big 12 this year. They were really good last year before Jalen Daniels went down with an injury, and they they just bring so much back. There are really no question marks on this team. Uh, you've got Daniels back at quarterback, and you've got Bean, who has played pretty well for them when he's had to play as well. Uh, they've got weapons at running back, at wide receiver. You look at the defense, uh, especially the secondary, strong linebacker is pretty good. If I had to to say that there is one area where this team is not going to be great, it's probably the line of scrimmage, which obviously is worrisome. I think the offensive line will be pretty good. Defensive line, kind of average. So that's really the one area where um, you know maybe they can't compete with a Texas, and and that's the thing with Kansas. They're they're not going to have the talent of a Texas or an Oklahoma, but obviously they're well coached and they have a ton of experience. I think Kansas and UCF probably the most experienced teams in the Big 12 this year. And that's why I say that if there's a dark horse, it's Kansas or it's UCF. One of those teams maybe could surprise and make a run to the Big 12 championship. And yes, I'm saying Kansas has a chance to make it to the Big 12 championship. I am that high on this team. I think they're going to be uh, a surprise for some people this year. So this is the schedule. And they get a pretty favorable non-conference schedule with Missouri State and Nevada. Illinois going to be a tough challenge, obviously. But um, overall, that's not too tough of a non-conference schedule. Their conference schedule, they don't have to play TCU, but they do play Texas, Oklahoma, Texas Tech, and Kansas State. So it's a, a fairly tough conference schedule. Also UCF in there as well. Uh, could be a little bit tougher. Again, you could have TCU in there, but overall, um, it's it's pretty tough. So we'll start with Missouri State. I think that's an easy win for them. I it, Yes, I think Kansas is now to the point where they can play an FCS team and they can win big. They can win easily. That's something you would not have said a few years ago, but I think Kansas has reached that point. Now, I don't know if they'll sustain this because, again, this roster is really experienced. They have a ton of production coming back. A lot of these guys are probably going to be gone after this year, and we'll see if they can sustain this. But I think, you know, as good as they were last year, this is their year. This is the year for Kansas to really make some noise. But they get Illinois there on September the 9th at home. This will be a tough matchup. You look at the line of scrimmage battle, which I just talked about. Illinois probably has an advantage there, but the explosiveness and the balance of the Kansas offense might make the difference. Plus, they're playing at home, so you've got home field advantage going here. Uh, this is, again, a tough pick to make, but I'm going to go with the home team. I'm going to say that Kansas wins this game, and then I think they go on the road and beat Nevada as well. Again, this is a Kansas team that, that can win that game without too much trouble. And so I've got them starting off 3-0. Then they play BYU, one of the uh, lower tier teams in the Big 12, uh, playing them at home. Uh, you know, BYU's not going to be bad. I don't think there's going to be any bad teams in the Big 12. I've said that before. I, I think top to bottom, or if you look at the bottom part of the Big 12, I think it's, it's maybe as good or better than any other Power 5 conference because they are deep. Uh, maybe at the top they're not as good as the SEC or the Big Ten or even the Pac-12, but uh, you, you look at the, the competitiveness in this conference, it's going to be a really fun conference like it always is. But anyways, BYU, a good team. I think Kansas is the better team, more experience. Uh, I, playing at home, I, I just I have to go with the Jayhawks here. I think they get the win over BYU, and I've got them starting 4-0 before our road trip against Texas. And I kind of circle back to what I said earlier 
the line of scrimmage. Texas has a really, really good offensive line, probably the best in the Big 12 this year. They're probably going to push the Kansas defensive line around. Um, you wonder about Kansas's offensive line. Can they hold up against Texas? I think they'll hold up okay there. Um, but the explosiveness of the Texas offense, the offensive line for Texas, the home field advantage for Texas, just the overall roster talent, there's just everything's pointing to Texas. I don't see Texas losing this game. I know they've lost it to Kansas in the past. I think this is a different year. I think te Texas will get this win and give Kansas their first loss of the season. Then they'll play UCF on October the 7th. I just talked about it a minute ago. I think these are the two most experienced teams in the Big 12. Should be a great matchup, probably a shootout, high scoring game, a lot of points. Um, could really see it going either way. I'm going to go with the home team, though. I think Kansas at home does get this win over UCF. Then they go on the road to face Oklahoma State. Tough place to play. Um, Oklahoma State has more talent than Kansas, but again, Kansas has more production, more experience, more returning production, I should say. Uh, so this is a tough one here. I think Oklahoma State, though, playing at home, that's going to be the difference here. Home field advantage. I've got the Cowboys knocking off Kansas in what should be a really good game, probably another high-scoring game. But I think Texas, between UCF and Oklahoma State, I don't think they win both of those, probably split those, and I'm going to say they lose that road game. They get a bye week, so they have extra time to prepare for Oklahoma. They get Oklahoma at home. Um, the, the defensive line, the pass rush for Oklahoma is going to be a problem for Kansas. Can the Kansas offensive line hold up? That'll be the story here. Um, I don't think Oklahoma has as good of an offensive line as they've had in the past. I don't think their offensive line is going to be as good as Texas. So I think uh, the, the Kansas defensive line, yes, they're going to they're gonna probably lose the battle up front there, but maybe not as bad as the Texas game. And I feel like the secondary for Oklahoma, which was a big problem, could be a problem here again in this game against a wide-open Kansas offense that's going to be able to score points. Playing at home, I think Kansas gets their signature win. They beat Oklahoma um, and again, I think that's probably going to be their biggest win of the season. Getting them to 6-2, and two, then they go on the road to face Iowa State. Tough place to play. Uh, should be a, a physical game here, very similar to the Illinois game. And again, I think home field advantage might be the difference. I'm going to say they lose this game. I think between Illinois and Iowa State, they probably split those two. And again, I'm going to say they, I'm going to go with the home field advantage, say they beat Illinois and lose to Iowa State. They get Texas Tech the next week, November 11th. This is a tough one. I think Texas Tech's the better team. Uh, they also have a lot of experience coming back this year, a lot of production returning. Uh, this is one that I really went back and forth on, but I, I'm going to go with home field advantage here. I think Kansas playing at home, coming off of a loss. Maybe Texas Tech overlooks them a little bit. Kansas finds a way to get a, a win here and another huge, huge win. Oklahoma and Texas Tech would be huge wins for this Kansas team. Then they'll get Kansas State at home. A rivalry game here. Um, this is a tough one. I just... And my gut just tells me Kansas State's gonna gonna win this game. Even on the road, I think Kansas State will find a way to get it done. They've kind of owned this rivalry, and I think that will continue. So I've got Kansas losing that game, but could easily see again. It's like everything's in pairs here. I could easily see them lose to Texas Tech and beat Kansas State. Um, again, you go back to to Illinois and Iowa State. I think they split those games. You go back to UCF and Oklahoma State. I think they split those games. So I could. I, this is the record here, but could definitely see some of these games going a different way. But I do think this will be the record. And I think they're able to go on the road and beat Cincinnati here in the finale. Not very high on the Bearcats. I think Kansas is the better team. And even on the road, they'll find a way to get it done. So I have them winning that game and finishing 8-4. and four. So yes, I am high on Kansas. I'm a believer that Kansas is going to be potentially a top 25 team this year. Maybe I'm crazy or maybe I'm right. We'll see. Do you agree or disagree with me? Give me your thoughts, your predictions for Kansas for 2023 down in the comments below.